CMT140, our fiber optic cabling lab. We're working on the second part now. The first part, we checked our cable with our visual fault locator. This time, we're going to check it with our fiber optic microscope. So let's just kind of put in perspective where we are. You know, we noticed that our, our cable is not functioning or not getting a link between maybe two switches. So we first took our visual fault locator, we connected it to our fiber, and we noticed that signal is coming out nice and strong on one side of my cable. I connected up to the other side of my cable, and again, I noticed it's coming out nice and strong, and I'm not seeing any breaks or anything in my cable. So I, I test that, but I, I still know that I'm not getting a link maybe between my two switches. I'm having uh, issues with data across that link. The next thing I might do is I would clean the end of my fibers with a fiber optic cleaner. I did not bring one home with me from the lab room, but it actually looks like a little box with almost like a cloth, almost looks like a, like a, a tape dispenser, but it's a very fine cloth that you actually take your connector and very gently wipe it across there. Um, and it does not leave any fibers in the, the connector, but gets rid of the oil and dirt and things on the end of the connector. So I would clean my, my fiber, maybe put it into my switch again. Um, and again, if I'm not getting a link between them, now I might actually look at my fiber optic connector ends with a uh, microscope. Now this works. First thing, I need to make sure I do not have this connected to any light source because, again, this is a microscope. So if I had a light source on here and I looked through here with a microscope, it would amplify that into my eye, which would be extremely dangerous. So I do need to make sure this is not connected to light source. And then this actually slides into the end of the microscope down here, your connector does. And they do make fittings here for different types of connectors. Then on this side here, there's an eyepiece to look through with a focus knob. And there is a button here that actually lights up the end of the connector. And that allows you to look very closely at the end of the connector to see, are there scratches, are there nicks, are there chips, um, is there debris, is there oil, is there something built up on the end of the connector that would cause... As the light comes through the connector, as it comes at the end of the connector, would it cause that light to bend or veer off and not make it into the port that it's supposed to? Think of this almost as like a bad hose connection. You know, if I have two hoses coming together and it's a bad connection, the, the, the water's going to squirt out. If I have a bad connection from this connector into the port, we're going to have light leave. It's going to be an insertion loss. Light is going to leave here. So this microscope allows me to look at that end under high magnification to see if there's scratches or nicks or anything that would cause this to not work well that I might need to replace it. Now, unfortunately, I can't have the camera focus through here for you to see images. So what I did, if you look in your lab, you'll see a series of pictures starting with a good one to uh, about five or six more with specific problems, scratches, oil, dirt, uh, smudges from your finger, that sort of thing, letting you know what this looks like if you were looking through this eyepiece here, what it actually looks like. Take a look at those to kind of see what a normal connection looks like as well as the problem connections. And then I do have one or two questions at the end that I'm going to have you look at that image and look back at the samples I have for you and try to identify for me, is this a usable cable connection in its current state? Uh, now, it's very possible you could take that connector, clean it, and maybe check it again and use it. But as you look at that image, is it usable in its current state? So there is your fiber optic microscope that's useful for checking the ends of your connectors to see if there's, again, chips, debris, scratches, oil, dirt, buildup, that sort of thing on here that would cause this connection to fail as we're you know, connecting between two switches.